What I have here, comrades, are two of the most powerful handguns ever created. Well, one's real, the other's fictional, but, uh, you know. Go ahead and roll the intro so we can get this over with. Greetings, comrades. This is Sergey Kilimov, and welcome to another HD VR video. And today, we're going to be looking at two of the most powerful handguns in HD VR. One, of course, is an actual production handgun. The other is completely fictional, but I think it'll give this gun run for its money. <laughs> so, anyone who's been on YouTube for at least the last 10 years will instantly recognize this gun here. This is the Smith & Wesson. The Smith & Wesson Model 500. Yes, the Smith & Wesson Model 500 is indeed the most powerful handgun in the world, first released in 2003. An entirely new revolver frame had to be built to handle the extreme power of the 500 Magnum cartridge. Let me spawn... Uh, I guess your regular 357. This is a Colt Python. Yeah. Classic gun, chamber 357, but uh, put it next to this, and yeah. Smith and Wesson 500, next to 357, look like a 22. It's much more powerful, too. With a 350 grain bullet going at nearly 2,000 feet per second with a muzzle energy of over 4 joules, and even firing up to 750 grain bullets, this gun is ideal for hunting. I'd say it would be wasteful to use this for target shooting, but why else would be we in a firing range, you know? <laughs> but yes, the old Smith & Wesson 500, these are full metal jacket rounds. Also got here, some jacketed hollow point. Another full metal jacket, as well as some tracer rounds, which is uh, really nice. Of course, jacket out of hollow point, so you're pretty powerful against, I guess, uh, man hopped up on the speedball or whatever, like some sort of drugs or whatever. I guess that would be handy for that, but even this would be overkill compared to other options you might have in hand. But yes, good old Smith & Wesson. 500 is the current most powerful ha production handgun in the world. In fact, this round is so big, it's now considered a large rifle round instead of just large pistol. But, as powerful as this gun is, well, we have something just a little more powerful. This newly developed handgun by HDVR Technologies, or some other uh, manufacturer, I don't know, they, they've been... Uh, they haven't been keeping up with the uh, manufacturing details of this gun. But this is the B600. This is a very, very powerful gun. Chamber in 600 Magnum Bolt. <laughs> Sorry, lads. But I have no info whatsoever about the B600 revolver. Not even I can offer any insight on this gun. You'll just have to see for yourself what it can do. Now, you think the uh, Smith & Wesson 500 is big? This is the 600 Magnum bolt. Side by side. Not only is a cartridge bigger, but the actual bullet is nearly three times the size. Even more apparent. Look down there. Now this, I'm assuming you, you know, just in case you have like a rampant dinosaur or, you know, some weird alien life form that normal bullets can't uh, penetrate. I think this will do the job just well. Very well. Now this is still an experimental round. Why is that? Well, as you can see here, we not only have uh, armor piercing and jacket and hollow point, of course, but we also have an experimental sticky explosive round. So, you know, just in case, you know, your target's behind cover and you want to get rid of the cover as well as the target, this might do that job for you. Piercing round, pretty self-explanatory, and the aforementioned jacket and hollow point. Now, just to show you what these guys are capable of, I'm going to fire 
each of these three different rounds one at a time. In fact, one there, one there, one there. We'll, uh, this one's already loaded. Okay, we'll save the sticky explosive for last. I think that one's gonna be the most fun. And of course, spawn lock these. Okay. Distance of five meters sounds good. Now, this here is single action and double action, which means a single action, you can pull back the hammer, then fire. And you see there's quite a bit of recoil from this gun. This is a really big round. I'm pretty sure even with a compensator, <laughs> this would be hard to control. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I installed a little muzzle brake on here. Let's see if it uh, helps with the recoil any. Not quite. Nice, it's a bullseye there. But yes, these are the uh, jacketed hollow point rounds, and of course, as powerful as those are, actually, those with a full metal jacket. Yeah, those are powerful. But let's say you're going against, like, a heavily armored bad guy or something like that. Well, jacketed hollow point. Maybe. Where to go? Okay, now, as I mentioned before, single action, you pull back the hammer, then you pull the trigger. But with double action, if you pull the trigger, it'll cock the hammer, then fire. If you ever fire this in real life, you'll know that uh, firing it one-handed is a really bad idea. Okay, so those are jacket at hollow point, full metal jacket. Now, get some tracer rounds going. Now, naturally, you see these better in the nighttime, but you know, we're gonna do this indoors because what could possibly go wrong? Not bad. Not bad at all. There's 357, there's 44 Magnum, there's 50 Action Express, and there's a good old Smith & Wesson 500. Alright. Let's get the other gun. Okay, here's a B600. Now, another advantage this has over the 500 here is, of course, the Picatinny rails. Got one up here, and one on here. So if you want to put the, uh, scope on here you can if you want to put a laser sight or even a foregrip you can which i think that would be another advantage over this you'll notice here it has no rails at all so if you wanted to put a laser sight or foregrip on there it's not possible maybe the eventual tactical version might give it who knows but anyway one more advantage is a six shooter whereas that only holds five rounds this can hold six Those HDVR uh, R&D folks really know how to make a big gun work. So, these are the jacketed hollow point rounds. Let's see how the recoil is. Surprisingly more manageable. It's hitting that target a lot more than that. You see the bigger holes that came from this. This is a larger round after all. Let's go ahead and uh, customize this a little bit. Okay, so I customized the B600 a little bit. Got a little Paramus 3 sight on there. Got a little triad muzzle brake. And of course, got a foregrip. So, even though the recoil is surprisingly a little less than this, I think having a compensator and a foregrip will make this even easier to manage. Alright, now these are the armor piercing rounds. Now, let's see how much more control it is like this.
Naturally, with a compensator and foregrip, the recoil is reduced significantly. And especially with a revolver this big, it's much more controllable. All my shots went in the center. Now, let's have some real fun. These are the sticky explosive rounds. These are experimental specialist rounds. As I mentioned before, let's say you have a target that's hiding behind cover, and again, you want to destroy the cover along with the target. You could do it with this one around here. Now, I'm not quite sure how this works. First time firing this round, actually, so let's see what we can do. That is pretty interesting, a delayed explosion. That would actually be uh, really handy. Say there's a wall next to your uh, target, and behind cover, instead shoot the wall. It'll jump behind them, and it goes off. I think that this is the sidearm of the future. You know, you have quite a bit of flexibility. Granted, there are only three types of rounds so far, but uh, with the sticky explosives, it's just the beginning of the possibility. Let's say, um, uh, perhaps you get a homing round, that, you know, homing on the targets as you fire, you know, smart rounds, where um, you don't have to be aiming at the target and they'll, like, you just shoot forward. And there's a target there, it'll go there. Start up there, over there. Like Smart Pistol from Titanfall. <laughs> you know, I can see all kinds of possibilities with this uh, gun. I hope they have different uh, ammo types, because uh, this here, I feel, is just the beginning. So, conclusion. Spitz and Western Model 500. Powerful gun. Very nice. Has some limitations, but uh, still nice gun. But... If you really want a big gun that can do all sorts of things, the B600 is more, uh, something more up your alley. Let's try something else with this thing. <laughs> I'm feeling, uh, this isn't ridiculous enough. Okay, so I've tried to, uh, <laughs> make something a little more, uh, to my liking. Got a nice bigger scope there. Got a grenade launcher on the bottom, an extended barrel, a nice little muzzle brake, and uh, slightly a little stock for good measure. Hmm. Let's have some fun. That's not enough. <laughs> this is definitely the sidearm of the future. Again, the flexibility you have with this is ridiculous. We need more revolvers like this out in the field. And we definitely need more ammo types <laughs> to make this the go-to sidearm for the future. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you look forward to the next one. Till then, that's Vadanya. How about some Russian roulette? <laughs> I love this gun.